Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and I decided to take this a little bit differently. I'm actually recording gameplay footage this time. Today I'm going to be talking about Red Dead Redemption and my experience with the original Red Dead Redemption, which I'm actually playing off of PlayStation now, which I would like to talk about in the future. But I just want to kind of get my thoughts out about Red Dead Redemption, and while we're doing that, of course... Play the game a bit so you can see what it's all about if for some reason you're out of the loop and you've never played Red Dead Redemption before. So Red Dead Redemption is a breakthrough Rockstar game back in 2010. I think I speak not just for myself but for a lot of people that I was amazed at the original Red Dead Redemption. Like it was something that came completely out of the blue which... I guess shouldn't be a huge shock because I was familiar with Rockstar's games. I played Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, San Andreas. I played Bully. So I knew that they were accomplished. GTA 4, of course. So I played all these games and I knew that they had the capabilities to put off a really good game. But I was a little skeptical about the fact that this game was based on cowboys and being in the 1800s and all this stuff, or actually the early 1900s to be more specific. Uh, but anyways, whenever I saw the reviews and saw people talking about it, I knew I had to get on board. I had that FOMO, so I had to hop on board and get the game for myself. And I was pretty blown away by it at that time. But the thing is, I never actually completed the game back in the day, Red Dead Redemption. Uh, once I got to Mexico... The pacing of the game kind of got a little bit iffy for me. And it just seemed like you were kind of jumping around a lot. And I was just like, eh, I'm kind of done with this. And I never really looked back, you know. I did mess with the co-op and whatnot a bit. Which, that was really fun. But one thing that I do have a huge problem with, with the original Red Dead Redemption game, is the way the aiming controls are. Like, right here, I can go ahead and start aiming my gun. And it just automatically locks on. To the nearest target as long as you're relatively close like see right there like that's obviously not enough but i could just automatically lock on i guess aim just slightly bam headshot boom headshot boom headshot well actually that one might not have been a headshot but <laughs> you get the drift um it's a little ridiculous to pull off the headshots which that's fine in single player but when it comes to a multiplayer focused thing where you're doing death matches and people are just getting headshots off of each other left and right. It's kind of ridiculous. So, um, it, it's really just a riot that they uh, never address that for the multiplayer. Obviously, for the single player, it's fine. You know, it lets you feel like a badass gunslinger like Clint Eastwood or John Wayne in their movies and whatnot. And really just shooting fools up left and right. And that's fun. That is great. It's great for the single player gameplay, but the multiplayer, it's, it's a huge problem. This is not something you should be able to just do is just randomly pull off headshots every time. And it's even a problem in Red Dead Redemption 2, but to a lesser degree, it seems like they did tone it down a little bit for Red Dead 2. But, um, yeah, it's just super simple. Because, I mean, it just locks onto the body automatically. You barely nudge the stick up and you're getting headshots. Just like that, you know, all day long, son. All day long. Um... Another thing to keep in mind, of course, is this game was probably a little too ambitious for the last-gen hardware, in my opinion. I, for some reason, I'm not getting, like, any kind of wanted symbols. I guess I've been killing everybody so that they're not actually coming after me. Uh, but, yeah, like, back in the day with the um, original Red Dead, you know, like, it was just a little too ambitious for the hardware. Like, this is off of PlayStation Now, which... From what I understand, runs server blades that are basically identical to a PlayStation 3. I doubt they use an actual PlayStation 3. That would be kind of weird. But they use some kind of server blade setup that uh, mimics a PlayStation 3, I guess, as closely as possible. Wrinkles and all. That means you have a lot of the issues, like the um, things kind of rendering in really quickly. You know, sometimes uh, it does it to a point where, like, textures will pop in, like, right next to you, basically. And that, that can be a little distracting. Now, fortunately, uh, Red Dead 2 really addressed that. You know, the tech behind that game is way more sound than what we've seen. Okay, I need to go get that guy because he's a uh, witness to my little crime spree here. My little uh, mass murder spree I've got going on here. 
<laughs> Where I'm just killing literally everything that's out in the world. <laughs> but anyways, um, just to get back to the point, you know, Red Dead 2 really addresses that problem handsomely. And I don't want to discount the original Red Dead for its accomplishments with that. But I do feel like I really want to give this game a spin on the Xbox One X to see if maybe uh, maybe it's a PlayStation 3 issue. Like, maybe it's a PS3 version of this game that has this problem uh, where it will randomly just render things kind of, like, uh, very suddenly and it's it just kind of having a hard time keeping up with the rendering. Yeah, so... I guess it's not that huge of a deal, but that being said, Red Dead Redemption is a fantastic game. The pacing of the game is actually really good. Uh, the part where I apparently got uninterested during Mexico, like if I would have pressed on for like another mission or two, I would have been like right back on board because it did have a little bit of a, a lull there. But after that, the game picks up a brisk pace again. Uh, really good storyline. I really enjoyed the story behind it all. Where it talks about uh, your, you know, experiences, John Marston working for the government, trying to take out your old gang leaders, uh, gang leaders, yeah, your old gang leader and your, um, you know, old gang members. Because uh, obviously, if you played Red Dead Redemption Two, you would understand that John Marston and all these other guys were part of a gang under Dutch Vanderlyn, and uh, they were basically really bad criminals, but they kind of justified it in a Robin Hood-esque way, uh, where they're like, yeah, we're bad guys, but we help out, you know, good, poor people and whatnot. And so that's something that, uh, you know, John Marston has to come to grasp with and kind of just get past things. So I guess we can go ahead and do this little quick little mission uh, and <laughs> kill some more guys. This I guess we can make up for all the innocent people I killed. <laughs> And kill some actual bad guys for once. <laughs> Why not? So, uh, as far as the, um, the, you really think about the old Wild West, you think of like the music, the old spaghetti western music and things like that. You know, do 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 that kind of shit, right? <laughs> and uh, it's really, it's really interesting because this game doesn't just play into those stereotypes, it actually does a really good job with the music it's so dynamic and interesting in the way they pulled it off and it's just fun you know it's it's really well done so uh and of course red dead 2 kind of continues that tradition that's one thing that really didn't change much from red dead 1 or 2 but didn't really need to either it was already top notch and there was no need to do this i think i've already done this mission before this fort looks basically identical to what i remember it um, okay, that's actually not remotely what I'm trying to shoot at. Let's go ahead and bust out a shotgun. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Pop a cap in that fool, right? <laughs> but, uh, Red Dead Redemption, if you never played the original Red Dead Redemption, it is a top-notch game from start to finish. Um, like I said, the issues with the multiplayer, it, it has its problems with that. But if you're playing co-op with a buddy... I guess you can always enjoy a good time. Just don't bother with the versus modes because it's just going to be a non-stop headshot fest that uh, really is going to be kind of pointless feeling, you know. So it's like, don't worry about that. But uh, but if you want to do the single player, it's not a long game. It's not like super long like Red Dead Redemption 2. One of its main problems is the fact that it takes like 60 hours to beat that game or some crazy like that. This takes like 15 maybe. 15 to 20 hours, it's it's a lot more manageable for people that have a busy lifestyle and things like that. But at the same time, it's not so dearth of content that you're feeling gypped with this. Which, I mean, obviously this game being an older game now, it's been around for 9 years. You're not going to be spending more than 20 bucks. I mean, if you're spending, even if you're spending 20 bucks, you're kind of ripping yourself off a little bit. you know. Unless you're getting the Game of the Year edition for the Xbox, maybe. That might be worth it then. Because especially if you got the 1X, then you can really, uh, I guess, take take the maximum advantage. So uh, technically, like right here, you're seeing what the game will look like at its worst possible output. Which is on the PlayStation now. It's streaming. It's not playing locally. So you're going to get a little bit of a softness in the video. Although it looks really good. 
Uh, I think the PlayStation now does a pretty good job with that. Not as good as uh, Google Project Stream or um, NVIDIA GeForce Now, but it does still handle it really good. Um, and then, of course, you know, you get to, like, the Xbox One X where it's able to output in 4K. It, you know, ups the frame rate. It apparently does all kinds of tricks to enhance the visuals in a way that it was never really intended to. It's almost like playing an emulated version, I guess, of the game. So, uh, yeah, let's just blast these guys up. And I didn't even use a dead eye. The dead eye is like crazy as well. Like the dead eye, it's where you can go into your freaking little Max Payne slow mo bullshit and just kill everything on sight. I actually kill all the guys without even doing the door like I was supposed to. So, yeah, yeah, good times. So I hope you guys enjoy this little conversation and gameplay of Red Dead Redemption. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos better than the uh, ones I've done with just the uh, vlogs, talking, if you prefer gameplay footage. Uh, just let me know what you guys think and what you thought about Red Dead Redemption. And if you haven't played it, why not? And uh, definitely consider it. Um, it's a game that I'm glad that I picked up again. And I just thoroughly enjoyed it this time. So... Thanks for tuning in. Uh, till then, Dow Phoenix out.